A Fresnel imager is a proposed ultra lightweight design for a space telescope that uses a Fresnel array as primary optics instead of a typical lens. It focuses light with a thin opaque foil sheet punched with specially shaped holes, thus focusing light on a certain point by using the phenomenon of diffraction. Such patterned sheets, called Fresnel zone plates, have long been used for focusing laser beams, but have so far not been used for astronomy. No optical material is involved in the focusing process as in traditional telescopes. Rather, the light collected by the Fresnel array is concentrated on smaller classical optics, e.g., 1/20th of the array size, to form a final image. The long focal lengths of the Fresnel imager, a few kilometers, require operation by two-vessel formation flying in space at the L2 Sun-Earth Lagrangian point. In this two spacecraft formation flying instrument, one spacecraft holds the focusing element, the Fresnel interferometric array, the other spacecraft holds the field optics, focal instrumentation, and detectors. Advantages A Fresnel imager with a sheet of a given size has vision just as sharp as a traditional telescope with a mirror of the same size, though it collects about 10% of the light. The use of vacuum for the individual subapertures eliminates phase defects and spectral limitations, which would result from the use of a transparent or reflective material. It can observe in the ultraviolet and infrared, in addition to visible light. It achieves images of high contrast, enabling observation of a very faint object in the close vicinity of a bright one. Since it is constructed using foil instead of mirrors, it is expected to be more lightweight, and therefore less expensive to launch, than a traditional telescope. A 30-meter Fresnel imager would be powerful enough to see Earth-sized planets within 30 light-years of Earth, and measure the planet's light spectrum to look for signs of life, such as atmospheric oxygen. The Fresnel imager could also measure the properties of very young galaxies in the distant universe and take detailed images of objects in the solar system. Development The concept has been successfully tested in the visible, and awaits testing in the UV. An international interest group is being formed, with specialists of the different science cases. A proposal for a 2025-2030 mission has been submitted to ESA Cosmic Vision Call. In 2008 Laurent Ketchlin of the Observatoire Midi-Pyrenees in Toulouse, France, and his team planned to construct a small ground-based Fresnel imager telescope by attaching a 20-centimeter patterned sheet to a telescope mount. Ketchlin and his team completed the ground-based prototype in 2012. It uses a piece of copper foil 20 cm square with 696 concentric rings as the zone plate. Its focal length is 18 meters. They were able to resolve the moons of Mars from the parent planet with it. Topic. See also Augustin Jean Fresnel Diffraction Fresnel diffraction Fresnel lens Fresnel number Zone plate Topic. References Topic. Further reading http colon slash slash mipfr slash users slash coakley slash w3 slash publicenline slash propalfresnel dash cosmic vision underscore two oh oh seven oh seven oh six dot pdf the Fresnel interferometric imager proposal to ESA Cosmic Vision two thousand seven http colon slash slash www.ast.obes mipfr slash users slash coakley slash w3 slash fresnel arrays postera 4v3 pdf fresnel interferometric arrays as imaging interferometers l ketchlin d Serre, p deba d massinet HTTP colon slash slash www.ast.obes mipfr slash users slash coakley slash w3 slash publicenline slash a 28805 pdf high resolution imaging with Fresnel interferometric arrays, suitability for exoplanet detection, L. Ketchlin, D. Serre, and P. Dutchin http colon slash slash www.ast.obes mipfr slash users slash coakley slash w3 slash publicenline slash papirfresnelv1
PDF Imager de Fresnel pour observations à haute résolution angulaire et haute dynamique, L. Ketchlin, D. Serre, P. Deba. <laughs> 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 